What's up team? It's Seema the Centaur Eang here uh, with another trunk video. That's what I'm gonna call these trunk videos because I'm literally in the back of my trunk making a video. It's been a long time. Yes, I know. Uh, but if you haven't seen the last video, I do have a podcast with my best friend Brian Belay. It's called We Don't Know Yet. If you want to check out that podcast, the link is going link. The link is going to be in the bio below. Also, there's going to be a lot of cars driving by, so I'm going to do my best not to make this awkward when they do. So, okay. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, pretty much it's a podcast about self-development, uh, self-discovery. As we figure things out with our respective careers, things that are working for us, things that aren't, books we're reading, things that are helping us out, we share them with you and uh, it's a lot of fun. I love it, it's, it's awesome, I'm having, I'm just enjoying it a lot. So, if you wanna check out that podcast, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, links in the description below, check that out. But the subject of this video doesn't have anything to do with that podcast. Actually, I wanted to address a question that I get a lot from my clients that do jujitsu and lifting, powerlifting, or just lifting in general for strength, and a lot of uh, DMs. And uh, the question is, if I have to do jujitsu and lifting on the same day, what should take priority? Now, this answer that I'm about to give you I would say is a majority of situations. I think there would be some situations where the opposite would come into effect. Now this, I would suggest that if you had to do lifting and jujitsu on the same day because of schedule constraints, because you don't necessarily have the time to split it into different days of the week, because the ideal situation would be that you don't have to do them on the same day. But if you're a high frequency gr uh, grappler, but and you're also a, you have a good frequency of strength training, and I would always say that grapplers should strength train a minimum of twice a week to three, maybe three to four times a week if possible. I strength train three times a week, and I do grappling, jujitsu, five to seven sessions a week, high intensity sparring, drilling, etc. Um, I would suggest that you do your lift before jujitsu. Now, why is that? It's mainly because of the safety of one versus the other when fatigue is involved. Let me explain a little bit more. Now, I want you to imagine that you, you know, you go and you do your squats and maybe you do some cleans and presses or whatever. You do all of those things to a decent intensity and then you go grapple. By the way, I'm going to have video from a day that I was at Casio's gym. Casio Wernick is the gym that I go to where I was doing some overhead press and some squatting right before I went on the mats, like literally 10 minutes after I finished my workout, I went on the mats and started working out. But if you did all these high intensity strength training movements, maybe you did a lot of reps, maybe you did some higher, higher loads, and then you go roll. On the mats, yeah, you're a little bit tired uh, because you just lifted, but because you're not working under any type of load, you can still manage this pretty well. But now, for all of you grapplers, you know how intense a training session can be, how wiped, how tired you generally feel after that. And now imagine going to the gym and having to get under a heavy loaded bar or even a light loaded bar and squatting eight to 12 reps or squatting four or five reps heavy and then doing all these other compound movements. I, I know it's much more unsafe to do those movements under heavy fatigue than going on the mats and doing jujitsu under a heavier sort of fatigue. And it'd be much smarter if you were to lift first, then do jujitsu. If, uh, let's say on this double day, if you could have a, a few hours of recovery between both, go ahead. On some days, I don't really get much recovery. Some days I have to go to super training, then I go straight to jujitsu, or I lift at Casio's, then I just go straight to the mats right after that. Uh, but if you can ideally give yourself some room between them, that'd be ideal so you can recover a little bit, maybe you know eat a meal or get hydrated before you have to get on the mats. But in majority of situations, I would think it's much smarter for a grappler to do their lifting first and then do their grappling afterwards, okay? Um, the situations where I think the opposite would be, where you should grapple before lifting, uh, would be if, if you're an individual that doesn't do a lot of compound movements, so you don't do big strength movements like the squat, the bench press, the clean, snatch, or technical movements like that, and you're just someone who goes to the gym and does bodybuilder work. 
then that could be a situation where you could get away with grappling and then going to the gym and doing that type of work. Just because it's not gonna be as technically difficult to do those small movements. But if you do strength movements, which as a grappler, you should be doing big compound movements to be able to gain the most overall strength and get the most bang for your buck since you're working a majority of muscle groups versus doing just bicep curls, etc. Although those movements aren't unimportant, then yes, work out first, then do your grappling because there are going to be situations where you're going to have to do double days and that's how I would suggest that you do it. So if you guys have any other jujitsu lifting based questions, go ahead and ask me below. If you have any other lifting based questions, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. I'll make a video on it. Other than that, this is Nassim of the Sensar Eyang from BreakTheBar.com. If you're interested in coaching, go to my website and check it out. Uh, don't forget about the podcast we don't know yet. That's all. I hope this helped you out. I'm going to talk to all of you, hopefully, probably, very, <laughs> very soon.